every day I do get letters from Americans from all walk of life and, and they're doing such amazing, inspiring things. Sometimes just simple things. Working hard, running a farm, looking after their families, teaching a child. And then every once in a while, you know, they, they do something that has an even broader impact. So Steve Cottrell lives right here in La Crosse. I'm going to use him as an example. Steve? <laughs> Steve's right there. He's going to start blushing, but I'm going to talk about him anyway. In 2002, he started a small business out of his house to help manage data for car companies and dealerships. By 2007, he employed a handful of people. Then he was hit with a double whammy. The recession came, and the auto industry almost went belly up. But we refused to walk away from people like Steve. That shot in the arm, Steve says, was enough to keep his comp company's confidence going. During the worst years of the recession, Steve invested in new people, new technology, decided to double down, was absolutely confident his business model was right. As the auto industry came roaring back, things began booming. And since 2007, Steve's revenue is up a thousand percent. His company, his company, Authenticom, has gone from 18 employers, 18 employees to more than 120. So, this business that began in Steve's son's old bedroom is now one of America's fastest growing private companies based in a restored historic building right in downtown La Crosse. Now, now, I guarantee you Steve worked hard. He put everything he had into it. He took enormous risks. But he's also somebody who recognizes that he didn't do it by himself. He's proud of what he's accomplished. But he also talks about how fortunate He's been to, part of a, to be part of a community like La Crosse, to be part of an industry that got back to basics, determined to do things better and smarter. He pays his employees fair wages. He guarantees paid sick days. He helps pay for the tuition of those folks when they decide to go back to school. He created a stock appreciation program. So when the business does better, his workers do better also. And then, most importantly, uh, there's free lunch Friday. Who doesn't like free lunch Friday? Right? So, so look, I, I want to I read something Steve said. He said, you can't always do everything that er everyone would like, but if you treat everybody like family, that's good for us. If you treat everybody like family, that's good for us. What's true for Steve's business is true for America. If you treat everybody like family, that's good for us. Not just me, not just you, not just Democrats, not just Republicans, not just old folks or young folks, not just black folks or white folks. It's good for us. We're not going to solve every problem in one fell swoop. But if we make things a little better for our fellow Americans, we're going to leave something better for us and for our kids. And if we're walking down that road together, we're going to get there faster. That's what we're fighting for, everybody. That's what we're fighting for, Wisconsin. That's what Tammy's fighting for and Ron's fighting for. That's what we all have to fight for. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. God bless you. God bless you.